Hello everyone, my name is Brad Larson, real estate broker and owner from Larson Properties here in San Antonio, Texas. In this video, uh, I'm gonna end up having to call some people out here in the market and show the owners exactly why we are different with some of the epic fails that we're seeing in the advertising efforts of homes that they're managing on behalf of owners here in San Antonio. It's actually frustrating and maddening, but if, unless you understand how we're different, you're not gonna appreciate why we're different. So these are the things we're seeing out there that you need to know of. So here's a good one. So these are all in the multiple listing service, agent remarks, advertising your home for rent. And this is what we're seeing out there in the open market as I pulled this Sunday from the San Antonio multiple listing service. And today is 31 March, 2017. Unmarried persons to individually qualify and to pay full security deposit each. So what they're saying is they're going to require a double deposit for an unmarried couple. Now, is that gonna help your home lease quicker, lease faster by that kind of requirement for, a, for renting a home? I don't think so, and I don't think you should either. So here's some others we're gonna share. Great one. Completed applications accepted only Monday through Friday, and sorry for the skip there, nine to 4.30. All attempts to submit an application, even a minute after 4.30 or on a weekend, will not be accepted until the next business day. Applications must be submitted in person. So that's a giant barrier for folks to rent your home that this property management company is advertising on the multiple listing service. They're telling people you show up between the office between nine and 4.30 or don't bother coming. Don't bother applying for your home. Does that make you feel good as an owner? I bet not. Okay, here's a great one. Application required for all adults occupying the property. $25 per month discount for an 18 month lease. So again, this is 31 March, 2017, an 18-month lease from now with a discount puts your home vacant in October, October 2018. Is that smart? I say not. Why not stay in summer cycle if you can? Apparently, this potential realtor, property manager, whoever put this on there, didn't think so. Didn't think it was worth and want to offer a discount to put you on the winter cycle. So you're going to incur a vacancy this winter because they don't know how to advertise homes. So let's talk to you about another one. Okay, tenants must have excellent rental history, no evictions, good credit, no criminal history, and income minimum three-time monthly rent. Okay, by the way, did you know it's now a federal law that you cannot discriminate from having a criminal eviction history? Did you know that? Probably not, Mr. Realtor, Mr. Property Manager, whoever put this online. They don't know the difference between fair housing laws and not. So what they're doing right here is violating the law. They cannot discriminate against folks with the criminal history any longer. That's a new law that passed just recently. And so this is something you should know about. Oh, and you know, good English, pets restrictions, pets restrictions. I'm not qu quite sure what that is. And, and there's a, a non smoking home. So this is the kind of marketing that's out there. This is copied word for word off the MLS, a non smoking home. Okay, great one here. Please use the TAR application form in paper. Again, another barrier to renting. Email this to a Yahoo account. So they want your potential tenants to email their sensitive information, their work history, their social security numbers through a Yahoo account so they can apply for your home. I don't think that's wise, but hey, that's their thing. And they also request they use a fax machine. Does anybody use a fax machine any longer? There's a lot of ways around that. If you're near enough to where you can email it, why would you fax it if you can email it. You see my point? You're gonna scan it and email it? Okay, another one, epic fail. Copy of driver's license, pay stub, application fee, and security deposit must accompany the TAR application. So what they're saying is to apply for your home, they have to bring their driver's license, application fee, and a $1,200, $1,500, $1,800 security deposit in certified funds just to apply for your home. They don't know if they're gonna get the application approved, but now they're being required to bring in what? $1,800, $2,000 in certified funds? Have you ever gone and gotten certified funds? It's a money order from HEB, or it's a certified check from the bank? That's not exactly fun or easy or cheap. So that's to just even apply for your home. Another epic fail there. Putting a barrier in front of those tenants from applying for your home. Application fees. This is a federal fair housing violation in textbook form. You're offering a married couple $60 per, per couple application fee and then showing favoritism to them by charging a single person $40 per person. So that's a fair housing violation, right? You're discriminating somebody against their familial status being married or single. And that's just an epic fail. I mean, that's just a fair housing violation waiting for an owner to get involved in that. I don't think you're going to like that. So this is all I wanted to show you about the San Antonio 
uh, Property Management Marketing Epic Fails. If you have any further questions about where I found these or where we are different in marketing your home, feel free to contact us or reach us online at satxpm.com. Thanks for watching and take care.